right? Once I made an assessment, Lyndon is close to my size. Also younger than me, that's his advantage, right? Kind of keep that in mind. We take up our stance, the first thing you have to consider is my range. There's nothing wrong with throwing a great kick unless you're too far away and you've wasted the energy. Alright? If I throw the great kick and he blocks, hey! I should have blocked. I did the best he could, I did the best I could. But if we're looking and I'm throwing a bunch of kicks, he doesn't even have to block, and I'm kicking like this, burning up a bunch of energy, it's uh, just going to get tired. So wait. Distance. I can step and kick. I can pivot and kick. I can switch and kick. I can spin and kick. These are different ways that we can start adjusting for movement or for distance. Okay? Timing. Timing is the second piece. If I come in and he fades back, right, and I fade and he follows me, then I might have to do something to break his timing. I come in, when he comes back, then I move in. So I break the timing. Does that make sense? We must continue to have certain things in place all the time. Stance and balance are interlocked. You must have that. For me to throw something out of balance, I just do this big kick, and I haven't really recovered. I have to throw another kick, and it's way off target. We'll be in the same. Get back to the position of balance. All right. Start simple. He's out of my lead leg range. Everyone has to agree with that. I shift. I kick, and I re recover. Shift, kick, recover. Shift, kick, recover. If he moves, does one of these numbers, I can spin through. Shift, kick, recover. Right, again, shift, kick, recover. Still snagging him a little bit. Work the inside. Work the lead leg, shift kick. All right, let's take this angle. Can I kick and move him without hurting him? Is that possible? Yes. yes. We do it all the time. If I want to kick him on the inside of his thigh, that's the closest leg to me, that makes sense. I can kick him on the outside of the thigh, we're pretty good at defending that one. Inside of the thigh is a good kick. I can't kick him with my lead leg at this range. It's too short. My leg's too short, can't make it. I'd have to move in. If I take a step, he, he could fade away. Right? Does that make sense? In fact, he probably will fade away. If I step, he probably moves his whole body. Does that make sense? So if I do this, I'm, I should still ultimately be in the same range. Match my range. There we go. Okay? Now, I want to kick him with power, and again, I'm out of range. I could do it from this position by changing the whole position. But he saw this big move, he sees the power coming, he moves or lifts and turns. Okay? Does that make sense? Get it away. He makes an adjustment. I got nothing. Now watch. I'm going to move the lower part of my body. I'm going to leave the upper part of my body relatively still. Now notice this position is about 35-45% into my kick. Here's my kick. Here's my position in the kick. Doesn't that make sense? Yes, sir. If I want to kick powerfully and fast with the back leg, switch, hit, move. Notice I didn't injure him. Switch. Now think about where I am. Essentially, I'm here. Bop. Hit him with the shin, make the lift. Okay? Notice I'm not smacking him, I'm lifting with him, right? I'm working on powering through. Shift, lift. Can we do it? Yes, sir. Can we do it without crippling each other? Yes, sir. Can we do it without hitting the groin? <laughs> Go. A little bit. Is it the switch? Is the switching part the hard part? Bang. Is the switch the hard part? Yeah. Is this the hard part? All right. If the switching part is difficult, 
essentially, I'm starting from a different stance. That now looks like an easy target. He, if he doesn't move, I should be able to kick him pretty easily, what we call the open stance, or what we would call, I'm in a southpaw stance, he's in an orthodox stance, right? I know, I just kick this way. Does that make sense? It's not real tricky. So again, if you're stuck on this part, I'm stuck here, what do I do? Let's go to here. Look, this leg's gotta hit that leg, right? Step to the angle or turn the heel, drive, focus through. Can we do that? All right. It's okay if you're not watching, but it sure does help to learn if you watch. All right. Okay? Shift, shin kick. Shift, shin kick. Step, ball the foot kick. Who saw the difference? All right, I'll show you again. He watches me. First time, he's not sure what I'm doing. I might catch shift. Kick, he doesn't like it. Now he lifts his leg. Shift, lifts his leg. All right? Typically when I lift my leg, I move it for them. Right? Shift, he moves his leg. Right? Then I do this. It's not this move. It's not this move. It's this. And it's fast. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Yeah. So now I'm not hitting with my toes. I'm not hitting with the top of the foot. Ball of the foot. Right here. Now, let's think about the ball of the foot. It's essentially like a fist, right? So if I've been hitting him with the shin, that's kind of like hitting him in the head with the forearm, this way or this way. Does that make sense? Now we're going to make a fist on the end, and we can either jab quickly or we can swing hard. It's still a fist at the end. What I've done, whether I go here, shin kick, or here, right? This one is way faster. It doesn't have the power. So it has to have something hard that's hitting it precisely, right? Shift, this is what we're looking for. Takes a little bit more precision. It is a snap kick. It is not a power kick. It is made for speed. I call it a stinger. I'm saying it's mostly for the knuckleheads out in the YouTube world that's like, well, that's not Muay Thai kickboxing. I'm like, yeah, guess what? You know you're dumb, okay? <laughs> you don't know what kickboxing is to start with. You don't know what I'm teaching, that's for sure. The bottom line is, this is Muay Thai kickboxing, right? This is hit one though, essentially. And this is me using a sabat style ball to foot kick in adaptation. Ball to foot kick inside of the thigh, not the toes. Go! Different movements. Do I have the right distance? Do I have the right timing? Am I fast enough? Do I have enough power? Is the technique appropriate for, the, for what I'm trying to get done? All right. Shift. Kick to the leg. Shift. Kick to the body. Shift. Kick to the head. Okay? Shift. Kick to the inside of the thigh. Shift. Kick to the, either the floating ribs or the liver. Now, if he's got his hand up and he's thinking he's going to block my shin, what's going to happen when my foot comes in at 90 degrees? What do you think? Ground My foot's going to be angled like this. I should get him. If he bands out slightly more, he'll be okay. Right? Shift inside of the head with the ball of the foot. Can you guys see how close? It's a slightly different angle. Watch how close, even though his hand's up, he's defending, but watch how close my foot gets to his head. I mean, it's right there, and he has his guard up. If the guard's a little too close, we hit with that, okay? It's strategic, good technique, strategic. Can we do this with the back leg? Power kick, power kick. 
power kick, right? Ultimate. Watch this. Uh, stand about right there. Where do you think my ball foot kick is going to get him? Uh, liver. Kidneys. Uh, Kidneys Kidney shot. Liver's on this side. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's my best. Head shot. You see why we have some variation? Yeah. Ball of foot, top of the foot, shin. You can round kick in any of these ways. Take five minutes and play. Mm. Try and knock your partner out. Try not to cripple him. Don't hit him in the ground.